the bob is back. I know y'all was kind of tired of seeing me with that um, makeshift headband wig I was wearing, so I brought the bob back. Today we're working. I have these wigs to go ahead and bleach the knots on. Then I have some wigs that I have to go ahead and ship out on tomorrow. This is a client's wig. I just have to correct um, what happened here. I'm correcting this for her. I'm the over bleaching and I'm gonna um, dye it and make sure it's all good to go. I have a wig outside on the balcony drying. I actually have two wigs out there, I think. Let me see. So I have that one over there. She's drying. She's like complete. And then I have this one right here that's drying. This one's almost dry. I had to dye the closure jet black to match the rest of the wig because this was actually a closure replacement. So yeah. I'm watching a little bit of pose here while I work. And yeah. Still haven't really figured out what I'm going to do with these bundles over here, but I'll figure it out. Y'all, so these next clips were recorded over a period of 24 hours. I literally work from day to night on some days where I have a lot of orders. Um, but in this particular week, I had about 10 to 15 wigs to customize, custom make, style, and things of that sort and I pretty much was able to complete them in a timely manner. Um, my turnaround time can take up to 21 days. Depending on how much work I have to get done, I can proudly say that I have been getting wigs out and shipped within like 10 business days, and I'm super happy about that, but um, I definitely want to increase, um, increase my turnaround rate to about so about seven business days. Well, well, actually decrease. I want to take it down to about seven business days. But when I have like over 25 to 30 orders, it's kind of hard for me to get them out within a week because I, I, I take into consideration like detail. Like I want to make sure that I bleach the knots correctly. I want to make sure that it's styled, you know, the way it's desired. And I want to make sure that if I'm doing color that I condition the hair if needed. I just want to ensure that I do everything precisely, like with precision, because at the end of the day, I want my customer or client to be happy with their product, with my work, with the service that they receive. I hate, hate, hate having to deal with issues. So that's why I like, I like to take my time. I like to take my time and do things the right way just so that I can provide the best service possible. And in return, I have a happy customer. And here I am just pretty much packaging up the last two orders for the week and I'm headed to the post office. All right, so I just got to the post office. I'm about to drop off these packages and get my ass on. Oh man, I thought this car was about to hit me. Ooh, there Okay, so that's done. Now it's time for me to relax. <laughs> it's a lot of help. Gas is way too hot for me to be out here um, trying to just run around like I don't got nowhere to go. I need to know exactly where I'm going, what time I'm going to get there, what time I'm going to be back, how long I'm going to be out on the road, <laughs> how many miles. <laughs> I'm calculating everything. <laughs> Let me go get this baby some milk. Grab her some baby food. Y'all, I swore up and now I was gonna be that mom that would like make the baby food from scratch like with bananas and strawberries and vegetables and all that good stuff yeah i don't have the time i don't i don't do that i grab the already made baby food make sure it's organic and give it to my baby and that's it 150 good old american dollars this stuff is expensive 
Oh, hey y'all, so it's about to be seven o'clock. I got all of my orders shipped out in the last vlog. I have two more that are currently on their way for me to like do what I got to do. Majority of the orders are all taken care of, so I'm very happy about that. Let me update you guys on those four wigs that my client sent in for me to revamp. Here's all four of those wigs. <laughs> I went ahead and colored them. This one is a burgundy, as you guys can see. It's a little burgundy. This is like an ombre, honey brown kind of thing. I went ahead and just um, kind of freestyled a honey blonde type of thing, like a cute little balayage, you feel me? And then for this unit, we did jet black. I completed all of these color jobs in one day. Now I have to go ahead and style them and then I'm going to ship them off. So in one of the previous vlogs, I was actually getting a whole bunch of travel size items like toiletries and whatnot. Um, and that was because I'm preparing to take a trip to Turks and Caicos with my friends. So I am over here packing. I have got Crystal nails from Shein and they just came in and they're so stinking cute. I usually make my own press on nails, but I don't have the time to do that. So I just got these. I got a whole bunch of lashes from Shein too and they came in. I also got this mirror. It's like a LED mirror and it opens up like that. Really nice and sturdy. Definitely a must have when traveling. I also got some exfoliating gloves. I'm going to stuff my duffel bag and my carry-on suitcase with all of these clothes so we'll see how this goes okay so i was actually able to fit all the clothes i even put some of my purses and shoes on this side so this is my suitcase pretty much you know all the shoes that i'm bringing i have another bag that i'm packing and then up in here i think i'm gonna put a few accessories um, and knickknacks, but um, I like to leave this little pouch empty for like souvenirs, especially if I'm going to a country or a place I've never been. But yeah, because it's a girl's trip and it's like a birthday trip, what I did was I went on Amazon and I got us all like hats. So here's how the hat comes, it's all rolled up, but then <laughs> it pops up like it pops out like this. And then it's like, you can arrange it, make it as floppy as you want it to be, or as sturdy. And it fits even with the wig on. So that was important for me so that I can have a hat that actually fits even with the wig on. And I like the fact that it rolls the way it does. And it comes with like a strap too, just to keep it down. I also got us all fans so that we can stay cool. I need to figure out how I'm gonna pack these. I think if I just roll them up and put them in my, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. how am I gonna pack these? Wait, let me see something. Oh, they'll fit right on up in here. Now, will 
carry-on is good to go I just gotta stuff my duffel bag with all of the other goodies oh be careful with that I just blew out my hair I need to braid it down so yeah I'm gonna braid it down today I'm flying out it's about 3 15 in the morning and I need to leave the house at 4 so that I can make it for my flight we'll see if I make it if I do there will be a vlog um, and if I don't, there will be a vlog. <laughs> so we made it. We're here in Texas and Caicos. Celebrating Diana's birthday. Charles, get on in here. vacation is actually over you know that i'm working i can't believe it yeah but the fun don't stop the fun has to stop I, no I have, I we, have we, to, hey 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 hey, 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 hey hey i only got hey, four hey, of these left hey, uh, i gotta redo these we have fun in this house we have fun in this house yeah, people buying the hell out of them things this they, was full i know <laughs> Oh man, I had so much fun. Okay, so pretty much I have to, I have to make some more essential kit bags and make sure that I upload them to the website. We wanted to get that done and fulfill the orders that I've had over the weekend. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much the end of this vlog. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.